If you're young and want to become wealthy, keep watching. And I'm not saying you can get rich quickly or easily or without making any sacrifices. It's obviously not what I wanted. What I am saying is that you can absolutely make decisions that will allow you to amass real wealth. I'm Nir Kesar. I'm a Bloomberg Opinion columnist, and I make videos about the math behind my biggest questions, and hopefully yours too. I'll get into how to get rich in a minute, but first, let's define rich because it means different things to different people. The definition we'll use for this video is based on Schwab's latest wealth survey in which respondents on average said you need $2.2 million to be considered rich. Two million dollars, two million dollars. Next, let's define when you can realistically get there. For most people, that's age 65. I know that sounds like a long way off if you're in your 20s, but time is part of what makes this strategy possible for anyone. The key to this strategy is to save and invest. If you're new to investing, you're probably thinking, how do, how do I do it? I'm gonna show you. You have to put your money in an investment that grows faster than inflation. Since inflation is constantly eating at the value of money, you can't just stuff your savings under the mattress. For example, today you would need about a buck 30 to buy the same thing a dollar would have bought 10 years ago. We've all been hearing a lot about inflation since the pandemic. The average price of a new car is up to $48,000 from $38,000 just before the pandemic. The average price of a carton of eggs was $1.38 in 2019. Now it's $2.07. And the cost of almost everything is higher. So where should you invest your money? Without a doubt, the easiest, cheapest, and all around best investment for that is the stock market. Funds that track the US and global stock market are cheap and easy to invest in. And just as important, the stock market has a long record of beating inflation by a wide margin. Historically, the stock market has grown by about 7% a year after inflation. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So good, in fact, that if you save $10,000 a year in the stock market beginning at age 25, by the time you're 65, you'll have $2.2 million. In future dollars, you would actually have about $5 million, but adjusted for inflation, $5 million in 40 years should be worth about the same as $2.2 million today. That's what we need to focus on, what our future savings will be worth in today's dollars. So keep in mind that when I talk about future savings in this video, I'm referring to what those savings would be worth in today's dollars, even though the actual future amounts will be a lot higher. Your definition of rich may be different from Schwab's survey, and you can easily adjust the amount you need to save to get to your number. If your idea of rich is a million dollars, you'll need to save half as much, or about $5,000 a year. Or if your idea of rich is four and a half million dollars, you'll need to save twice as much or about $20,000 a year. You get the idea. Now let's talk about the saving part. Spent my life savings turning my van into a dog. This is where the sacrifice comes in. The good news is that there are a lot of careers that will get you there. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they include jobs in healthcare, engineering, architecture, business and finance, law and computer science, to name just a few. Some of those jobs require a college degree, but there are plenty of skilled trade jobs that don't, including plumbers, electricians, and contractors. Where you live can also make a big difference because the cost of living is way higher in some places than others, even after accounting for differences in pay. It's a lot easier to save money in my hometown of Indianapolis than it is in big coastal cities like New York or San Francisco. Finally, some people look at wealth in terms of income rather than net worth. So let's also look at that. In reality, they're the same thing because your savings produce income. Although figuring how much you need to save to get there requires one additional step. For example, according to a recent bank rate survey, Americans say they need $233,000 a year to feel secure and $483,000 a year to feel rich. So the question is, how much money do you need to save to generate that amount of income every year? A good rule of thumb in financial planning is that you can spend 4% of your money a year and not worry about going broke. The idea is that a diversified investment portfolio should be able to generate at least 6 to 7% a year before inflation. Of that, if you leave 2 to 3% in the portfolio to keep up with inflation, that leaves you with 4% to spend after inflation. So if you want to generate $230,000 a year from an investment portfolio drawing 4%, you would need a portfolio of about $5.8 million. 
If you want to check my math, which I encourage everyone to do, I get there by dividing 233,000 by 0 0.04. To reach 5.8 million in today's dollars, you would need to save and invest about $27,000 a year for 40 years, which is a lot for many people, but you can get close by making the maximum 401k contributions every year, which is currently $23,000. Generating $483,000 of income a year is even harder. At a 4% drawdown, you would need to amass $12 million, which would require saving and investing $55,000 a year for 40 years. Although, as we did before, you can easily adjust the numbers to get to your own income target. Let's also not forget that the stock market is volatile. Every 10 years or so, your savings will get cut in half before they recover and move on to new highs. And you'll have to close your eyes and hang on in those difficult moments. I can't hold that anymore! But the market's volatility is not why more people aren't rich. I think the biggest reason is that people aren't aware of the opportunity until they're older, when they have less time to save and invest. This video is my modest attempt to change that. Pass it on.